Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm your host, Buckning, and today we're going to give you an update on the week here for the beginning of the week. And then we're going to talk about how dividend investing is so boring in these days, but that's okay. We're going to go through some pros and cons. And we're going to talk about a few things, you know, I'll just throw it out there. And so if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is where we put $100 a week into a tax free savings account to build a dividend portfolio right in front of your eyes. And if you're not new, welcome back. So we'll get right into it here, guys, and give you the update here. So for the one day, we are closing the portfolio out at $5,404.56, up $2.33 on the day, uh, up 0.04%. For the one week, we are up $32.72, up 0.61% for the one week. For the month, we are up $216.59, up 4.17%. For the three months, if it loads, we always have troubles loading these ones here. I'm not sure why. There it is. We're up $354.05, up 7.01% for the one year. We are up $934.56, up 20.91%. And the same for all. We'll go into the first position here, which is Bell Canada, ticker symbol BCE, closing out at $61.42 cents up at nine cents on the day up 0.15 percent here is the snapshot of the position there and again that is bell canada ticker symbol b c e next position we have here is bank of montreal ticker symbol b m o closing out at 128 dollars and 17 cents we're down 38 cents on the day down 0.3 percent <clears throat> here is the snapshot of the position there and again, that is Bank of Montreal, ticker symbol BMO. Next position we have here is Bank of Nova Scotia, ticker symbol BNS, closing out at $81.17, up two cents on the day, up 0.02%. Here is the snapshot of the position there. And again, that is Bank of Nova Scotia, ticker symbol BNS. Next position we have here is Loblaws, ticker symbol L, closing out at $75.67, up 16 cents on the day up 0.21 percent here is the snapshot of the position there and again that is Loblaws ticker symbol L next position we have here is Manulife Financial Corporation ticker symbol MFC closing out at $25.18 up four cents on the day up 0.16 percent here is the snapshot of the position there and again that is Manulife Financial Corporation ticker symbol MFC Next position we have here is Qualcomm, ticker symbol QCOM, closing out at $134.20 USD, up 88 cents on the day, up 0.66%. Here is the snapshot of the position there, as you can see. And again, that is Qualcomm, ticker symbol QCOM. Next position we have here is Royal Bank of Canada, ticker symbol RY. Closing out at $125.68, down $0.35 cents on the day, down 0.28%. <clears throat> Here's the snapshot of the position there. And again, that is Royal Bank of Canada, ticker symbol RY. Next position we have here is Tells Corporation, ticker symbol T. Closing out at $28, down $0.07 cents on the day, down 0.25%. Here's the snapshot of the position here. And this is the position we updated last week. So if you want to check that video out, it is going to be up here. And again, that is Tells Corporation, ticker symbol T. Last position we have here is Toronto Dominion Bank, ticker symbol TD, closing out at $87.99, up $0.07 cents on the day, up 0.08%. Here is the snapshot of the position here. And again, that is Toronto Dominion Bank, ticker symbol TD. Here is the cash account. So we have $129.39. We always put $100 every week. If you want to see the proof, it'll be right here as per usual. And then we did get a $25 referral. So there is a referral link down below if you want to use it if you're just signing up or just starting investing with uh, Well Simple Trade. And yeah, and here is the watch list. Okay, so that's pretty much it uh, for the week here, guys. But um, <clears throat> let's talk about why dividend investing specifically is, is, is pretty boring and it's not, um, not something that everybody tends to want to do, but there are exciting things about it. For example, 
when it comes to dividend investing, it's kind of boring because you don't see these companies that have hyper growth, for example, like GME, AMC, not even hyper growth, just like this hype or this flavor around it. Uh, Wendy's now, Wendy's actually pays a dividend, funnily enough. So I'd imagine that a lot of people that own Wendy's stock are are quite happy about it um, and, and getting that dividend as well. But I'm not sure if it'll last. It's not, I think the last time I checked, Wendy's is only shorted 4% <clears throat> compared to like, uh, I think AMC was like at 40% and GME was like over 100 or something silly like that, GameStop. But I'm not going to talk too much about that. But I'm going to talk about why dividend investing can be boring, but what's exciting about it as well. So for the most part, when it comes to dividend investing, when you're buying these these dividend stocks, they're they're not exciting companies. They are quite boring, um, big, boring companies. I'll let you use the acronyms however you want. But uh, yeah, I mean, you're buying these these massive companies for the most part. There There is opportunity for growth, but it's not fast growth like growth stocks. And it's not a bad thing to carry growth stocks. I do hold growth stocks, but not in this portfolio specifically. I do hold them in a different portfolio just so I can separate the two and, and see the performance, you know, uh, against each other. And so what's another thing that makes dividend investing? I'm not looking at stocks every single day. Uh, I may peek at it. I may take a look, but I'm not analyzing it and, and, and sweating from looking at price movements. Cause I have a feeling a lot of new investors are doing that when they're investing in these, um, quote unquote hype stocks, just like GameStop. AMC and I'm not bashing them. I'm sure people have made a ton of money and, and congratulations if you have. And but just be careful as always, you know, these are, these are very volatile. And, and when I say volatile, I mean, they are up and down quite frequently. Like you look at the past year, it's been up and down for the most part, and it doesn't last forever in my opinion. And, and some other people might be totally against my opinion and, and may call me the quote unquote paper handed. But I think I'm diamond handed when it comes to dividend investing, when it comes to the stocks that I pick. These are companies I'm going to be holding forever. But it is boring. No one's talking about it. And I, don't, I, don't, I've, I really feel like I, no one should be talking about this stuff or, or the companies that we are investing in because there seems to be this shift in, in investing culture where, where it's all about one company or this person versus that company or or this group of people versus these groups of people. And, and it just, it's kind of getting, in my opinion, annoying. And, and that's what everyone talks about. And then everyone forgets about fundamentals. So I guess I'm here to remind you that given investing is boring, but it is exciting in its own right. And, and there's reasons for that. I mean, I get excited when I get dividends and, and so should everyone else. I'm sure that every dividend investor or every channel that's on here that does uh, dividend investing themselves, they get excited when they see those dividends come in. Because what does that mean? That means purchasing power for more company stocks. When when you get to a point where it's like you're just looking for growth in a company, your your capital is locked up in there. It's, it's tied up in there. You can't do anything with it. Yes, you can sell it, but it's not ongoing. It's not truly passive income. It's you're banking on the fact that this stock separated from the fundamentals of the company will rise to a level that is just astronomical and unheard of. And I'm not saying that I didn't buy any GME. I'm not saying I did. Right. Um, but to bank on that and think that that is what investing is, is kind of wrong. And everyone has their own strategy. Don't get me wrong. Each to their own. This is just my opinion, but it is, it is kind of boring, but it gives me the opportunity to do the things, other things that, will benefit me in the long run, like grow myself by reading books, you know, take time for myself where I don't have to worry about the fluctuation of a stock, to be honest, because a lot of new, new investors tend to look at the stock price day in, day out, day in, day out, repeat the cycle over and over and over again. And that can drive somebody absolutely crazy because it's not coming fast enough. And I'm not going to throw quotes out there like Warren Buffett's because that doesn't really tell me that I know what I'm talking about when it comes to investing and you shouldn't probably take advice from me because I'm not a financial advisor. I'm definitely not your financial advisor. And so go seek professional advice if you need it. 
<clears throat> but this is obviously for entertainment purposes only. So dividend investing gives me the opportunity to work on myself, myself and, and look at other opportunities outside of just stocks. When it comes to new investors and growth stocks, they tend to look at it very a lot and that's all they think about. And for the most part, my, I guess for my circle of friends, we do talk about stocks, but we don't just talk about stocks. We, we talk about other things like their ways to make money, uh, create cash flow, increase our net worth, increase our wealth. And I, we throw ideas around and that, I think that's the true purpose of investing. Investing doesn't mean just stocks. Investing means getting that investing mindset and learning other ways to create capital because we are in a, a, a capital society and, and you're free to do whatever you want. Free enterprise. It's, it's a great thing. And, and we just have to keep that at the forefront because I get it. There's, there's probably a new style of investing called meme stock investing and, and Wendy's just got added to the list and it's exciting. I mean, of course it's exciting. It's exciting to see a stock go from, from maybe down here to up here in, in a week, in five days, in two days, you know, it, that's exciting. There's, there's message boards around that, you know, there's, there's the Reddit where, where people are going and chatting about it and having fun and, and maybe not having fun. But I, I, I sometimes go in there, Wall Street Bets, and I, I just read it. I think some of the stuff is hilarious in there. It's, it's kind of like a sitcom of some sort. And, and it's, that's the fun part of it. It gives me the time to do that, you know, but I'm not worried that I'm going to lose my life savings. And, and there's some logical people in there. I mean, don't, don't, don't invest money you're not willing to lose. Yeah, that's a good rule of thumb. Don't, don't play a game you're not willing to lose, you know. And so dividend investing, yes. It's not the most popular thing to view because as you can see, I'm pretty repetitive with the videos. It's one week in, one week out, next week, same thing. Maybe it's a different topic. Maybe I go on a rant like this one and talk about those things. It's, it's not exciting, but it is what's going to get me the freedom that I want, the freedom that I need, the income that I want without touching my principal. And, and there's still a little factor of growth within the, the stocks that I do pick and, and some might drop, but that's just a buying opportunity. You gotta look at it as a discount, right? And so this is all long-term. And so that's pretty much it for the, the video and the rants. And if you are playing with those meme stocks, please, you know, I guess it's a new strategy. I guess it's a new style of investing and, and I'm just not one for it. And I, I might be in the, in the future. I mean, it's, it's not saying I didn't do it. I pro I, yeah, I'm just going to say I, I did not not do it. I don't know, but I'd rather not. It, it caused a lot of uh, just thinking too much about it and took me away from other things, maybe little things, maybe not really. I don't know, but I'm just happy that I, I'm no longer um, in a position for that. Uh, I exited some of the, my last positions today. And so, uh, it's going to be fun to watch from the sidelines, you know, like, uh, Drake watches the Raptors on the sidelines and, and cheering you guys on whoever is playing with the meme stocks. And it's okay to, I have a friend who always says it's okay to gamble sometimes. And, and he's right. It's okay. It's, it's okay to have fun once in a while. And, but you can find fun in other things other than trying to lose your shirt and your pants and your wallet and your bank account and your life savings. So that being said, dividend investing is boring, but it is fun when you get those dividend paychecks and it gets exciting when you start making a thousand dollars every single quarter from dividends. Uh, I, I have a, a colleague that I know that has a hundred K invested in just CIBC shares. And, and I did the math on a hundred thousand dollars based on the dividend today, based on the price today, he probably gets about a thousand dollars every single quarter. That's $4,000 extra every single year that he can invest or even use that to play with. Cause that's money that was essentially given to him by, you know, a company. And I'm not, you know, that's super exciting. Like if you want to put 4,000 of your dividends into whatever stock is a meme stock at the time, then go for it because you know, it wasn't part of your hard earned dollars. So that being said, that's the end of the video guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I know it was kind of all over the place. It's not, it, I don't structure my videos. I don't think I ever will when it comes to ranting. I'm just going off of what I'm thinking about. 
it's not scripted and I don't want it to be scripted. I want that piece of, you know, uh, originality. I'm not, I'm not trying to be fake or anything. So this is just me. This is how I like to do it. And uh, I'm sure it'll improve over time. And so hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. We'll see you in the next one. Uh, come Friday when we purchase our new position here. And uh, yeah, bye for now. Bye.